Victoria again, back with another video. Um, this video is for the YouTube Artist Collective. I am not a member, but I am doing this unofficially. And the theme for this month was a uh, masquerade ball. And I chose to uh, draw inspiration from a few places it j to go over the uh, the actual work it's of a uh, a woman who has uh, a devil masquerade uh, mask <laughs> uh, and she is walking up some stairs that are supposed to that are made of ice and she's in like an ice castle sort of thing which is why the background's all blue like that and the um brownish greenish with the red yellow dots are supposed to be like um I bramble and it's on fire I uh, chose to do this because I was um, very inspired by uh, the Met Gala this year it was fantastic I love the theme and I took inspiration for the theme um that had to do with very religious uh, iconography and so I took the idea of a lot of my ideas from the book and more the game of Dante's Inferno. I will say this is not fan art. It is just I'm using it as inspiration. And Dante's Inferno, for those who don't know, is the story of... I'll just do the game because it's slightly different from the, the book. Um, Dante comes home from the Crusades to find that his soon-to-be wife, or I believe actual wife, I cannot remember, Beatrice, has been killed. And she made a deal with the devil that uh, Dante would not commit sin, would not commit adultery, all this stuff. But he did when he was at the Crusades. And she becomes the Queen of Hell for part of the game. And that's who the woman is technically like partially supposed to be she's supposed to represent Beatrice in my work as I'm like trying to represent her queen of hell phase if you want to call it that um, I uh, took great inspiration like I said from the Met Gala and specifically um, the pose that I referenced for this was of um, Zendaya, I think that's her name. She uh, kind of, she dressed up, her dress looked like Joan of Arc. If, if you guys can tell me if I said her name right, please let me know. Um, and I, I took inspiration from that pose for, from the picture from the Met Gala and I took inspiration from pictures of devil masquerade masks and um, the symbol that's in that's uh, attached to the string on her mask that is the symbol of Lucifer and I also uh, added a pomegranate which is very much symbolized in a lot of mythology and religions in 
Catholicism and Christianity, I may be wrong, but I know that it's more of, has to do with Jesus, Christ, whatever, but I was taking more of the other stance of connecting it more to um, Greek mythology with Persephone and Hades, and Hades fruit being the pomegranate, which makes Persephone have to stay for part of the year. So I put pomegranate, uh, a gem that looked like a pomegranate on her bracelet that attached to a ring on her finger and a pomegranate shaped uh, hairpin which has, and there are pomegranates falling down through her hair. Um, and also I uh, sort of did a subtle, subtle reference to Louboutin or whatever that uh, fashion designer who does the, the red heel, the red uh, bottoms of like he, all his shoes because I had to put that on mine. Um, but I was going to add Lucifer into this picture but I decided against it due to how much there was actually like how much there already was in the photo so I um yeah I really enjoyed working on this I enjoy lighting that is very like directional and intense so to be able to add that in was a lot of fun and um, the uh, the dress took me forever to line and to color because I don't really draw dresses all that much and if I do they're like very short and easier to color um, I, I will say that my, my favorite part of this entire work is the mask. I just enjoyed how I did that and the jaggedness of the horns because um, from what I've looked at and heard about is fallen angels or possibly demons if you can connect the two. Um, their horns are actually halos that are broken, and that is why the horns on her mask are sort of facing each other or looking as if they're going into a ring shape. And, um, the, there are gems on the forehead part of her mask, and the colors that I have are red, purple, and blue, and I wanted that to represent the red being the, um, fire hot part of hell, the blue being the seventh layer in Dante's Inferno that's freezing, and the purple to be technically the middle because, you know, red and blue together make purple, and um, the, uh, her dress is a gradient from red to white, and that's supposed to also be representing things from Dante's Inferno. Like, um, Beatrice is, at, uh, Lucifer states in the game that she is the un, oh, what's the word? Like, she's unbreakable from her faith, but she was broken from it. And that's representing her being taken, con technically controlled by Lucifer, is her dress becoming red instead of white. Um, I will say that I enjoyed this color scheme because it's not 
usually what I do. I'm not much... Like, I know I do... I, I have added red in my work, but I feel like this is a lot more red than usual. <laughs> and I was really happy about it. And, um... I think that is all I have to say about it. I really hope that you guys like it and I am planning on possibly putting this on my red bubble more than likely I will and I uh, just also I just wanted to say that this this is this work is in no way to offend anyone of any religion I just I enjoy religious imagery and I wanted to add it into my work so I am going to let this finish and you guys can listen to the beautiful Midnight Sonata by Beethoven and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.